بتونه sir we will wait for another 5 minutes eight students are getting in okay. after that we'll start. Okay. okay thank you sir. okay Yes, first one is the resource conception. The first is the water usage. For example, uh, it can take up 20,000 liters of water to produce just one kilogram of cotton. Just imagine how much water we are going to use to make one kilogram of cotton. So for every designer student should keep it on mind to how to reduce or how to Yeah, Coach Levani, is everything ready? Means we can start. All the participants are requested to on their video and off their audio.
Akshaya will start. I welcome all the participants today. Warm welcome to our chief guest, Dr. Jagadish Kumar Alagesan, Assistant Professor in School of Chemical Engineering, Gyeongnam University, Gyeongshan, South Korea. He has educated in PhD in Environmental Science, Department of Environmental Science in Bharatiya University, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu, India. He had done various synergic activities, invited speaker, scientific committee, and invited talk in number one international conference and pollution prevention, clean and technological, and many more. Co-chair and scientific committee of fourth international conference and alternative fuel, energy, and environment. He has research expertise in environment, environmental chemist, particularly ex expertise in absorption, photoclitic membrane, activated carbon and nanomaterial and surfaces and many more. He had published around 41 papers, not just that, he has master's soft skills and technical expertise. Now I hand over the section to our special chief guest, Dr. Allegation. Thank you, Manu. Thank you for a nice introduction. So. Shall I share my PPT or you can share what I can do now? Sir, you can share your PPT, sir. Myself? Yes, okay. sir. Now the PPT is visible, madam? Yes, sir, it's yes, visible. Sir. Okay, so let's start now. Yes, sir, you can start your section, sir. Yeah, okay, thank you for the nice introduction and uh, thank you for giving this opportunity. So especially for, like to thank Danusri to ask me only three days before. So I make, uh, little PPT not fully completed. So I, I could not have enough time to make a full PPT. I, I think I have a less time. So in future, I will give the very detail and uh, what are the courses available in the masters and job opportunity in the foreign countries. So I will uh, give my another section in future. So thank you. So. Today I'm going to discuss on impact of textile sector on enrollment. So my name is already told, ma'am is Tegdish Kumar Alagasan, working as an assistant professor in School of Chemical and Textile Engineering, Yangnam University, South Korea. So my bachelor I did in enrollment and water management, OT. So my master's I did enrollment science in Bharatiya University, Coimbatore. 
PhD also the same institution, Environmental Science in Baradhan University, Coimbatore. So after completing my PhD, I start my postdoctoral fellow uh, in Southeast University, Nanjing. Also that that time I was an instructor of advanced water chemistry. That was Southeast University and Monos University, Australia. So during my first postdoc, I got a project which was worth of eight lakhs. So after completing my first postdoc, I started my second postdoc in the same province in China. So due to COVID, I came back. This is my position on honors. Already, I'm told very clearly, I could not spend time much with this slide. So, <clears throat> see, this uh, everyone knows around the Coimbatore and Erod people knows that the Srivani water is the world's second testest water, and Coimbatore owns it. So, water from Srivani is noted for its states and mineral properties, and the view from the falls. And therefore, the dam could be a nice tourist attraction. So God gave, gave us a very sweet and tasty water. <clears throat> so how we can use it, that water, we can see the one by one. See the very clear water in nature. This all your dam. So where is all water? For Earth, we have 100% water. The 99% water of the saline was in water and fresh water only three person that fresh water three person uh it available the ice caps and glaciers the ground water is 30 percent the surface water only 0 0.3 percent water and others is 0 0.9 so how we can use that 0 0.3 percent water in surface water is said that 0.3 percent water is contained 87 percent of our lakes and 11 percent of sims only two percent of rivers so we can see the <coughs> water uses so what is the impact on textile and effluent on environment generally the textile industries release a large amount of effluents which contain toxic and hazardous pollution decrease the environment very badly Textile industrial effluents also show toxic effect on aquatic macropites and algae, as it is noticed that aquatic macropites could hardly survive two days on textile effluent. So, uh, because you all the uh, fashion and costume design students, so you have a known site to beautification the humans so this is the hidden side what we are uh, using our cloth how it will uh, uh, manufacturing and how they will pollute our environment so i am today i'm going to talk about the hidden side unknown side maybe you know the fast fashion and technology and new designers so uh, today my main talk it is the hidden side I'm going to talk. I'm I'm surely I'm not going to talk about the negative side, but every costume design students, you must know it. What we are you are doing. So you must know everything. For example, you are the future entrepreneurs, you can start your new own uh, textile industry. You must know the everything. So you are the future of India to protect our environment. So you must know everything, how the uh, cotton is fabric manufacturing and uh, how uh, the pro processing so everything uh, i will uh, uh, discuss one by one so the textile industry is a major global economic sector we know this is a huge economic sector so but it has a significant environmental impacts so for example resource consumption for example uh, it can take up 20,000 liter of water to produce just one kilogram of water. See the water demand of one kilogram of cotton. We need to spend 20,000 of liters. So every costume design students, you must know it. So one is the, the water usage. Oh, sorry. The second one is the water pollution. And third is air pollution so we release the co2 and volatile organic carbon carbons and the soil pollution so waste generation example the solid waste and microplastics 
and the carbon footprint. The production and transportation of textile contributes significantly to global uh, carbon emissions. And finally, the mitigation strategies. So one by one, we will discuss. So see, this is the discharge of um, water from the dyeing industries. So the water pollution, there are two types of water pollution. One is point source pollution. The another one is non-point source pollution. So point source pollution, we know the government allowed to release the particular area to release. This is called the point source pollution. So pollution that comes from the known and specific location. Example, the factory pipes and tailpipes leaking landfill, taking the storage tank. This is called um, the so point source pollution. So, see, the particular portion we know where we will release the water. So, the another one is the non point source pollution. This non point source pollution, unlikely pollution from industries and sewage treatment plants, comes from the many different sources. NPS pollution is caused by rainfall or snow melt moving over the through the ground. We know you know your surrounding area, Erode and Palipalayam and Namakal district. You must know about this research of the dying, how they can release in the night times. Luckily, you must know about this. See the waters due to the eutrophication, high level of eutrophication. So the aquatic uh, animals are dying. See, this is our Bhavani River. So yeah, everybody is traveling through this area, I think, many times. See, that river is containing the large amount of Icarnia. So what is the reason behind the, this huge number of Icarnia? This is the reason. So more number of heavy metal accumulated in this water. So this is not healthy for the aquatic animal as well as so our drinking human also. So this is a huge impact. See how the fresh water comes and how we can use is this start from May to and this from Erod and this finally goes to the river. So every I think you must know about this plan. So every dying unit, they have the RO plan and Sapna plan. Only they can just uh, set up for the showcasing. So whenever the pollution control officers, they came, they only start. So you were the young uh, India, uh, future India, you must uh, know this um, dying industries. So you should tell them to every time they are manufacturing, they must need to use this RO plan to treat the water then uh release to the river otherwise the people can affect their huge um, uh, health effects so what are the effect of the water pollution uh first the process sizing so the chemical research is name is the benzene so what are the pollutants resins fat wax starch and glucose so what are the health effects to releasing the cardiogenic and mutagenic effects and central nervous system and bleaching is a cyanide and pollutant is wax, grease, soda ash, and sodium silicate. So prolonged health effects is uh, prolonged exposures will affect kidney and liver and leads to death. So dying during the dying process, it releases the sulfate. And what are the pollutions is uh, outside the sulfate, acidic acid, moderate. So the health effects is eye and respiratory problem. So during the printing process, the chemical release is nitrate and phosphate. It pollutes starch, gums, moderate acids. The health effects is harmful health hazards. So finally, the finishing stage, they release the lead. This is the heavy metal pollution. So it's the pollutant is starch, salt, and finishing agents. So suppression of uh, hematolytic systems. So things to do. So by increasing awareness, if we want to reduce the bad impact of textile effluent on the environment, we should be aware of the bad effect uh, of the effluent. So the authority of the textile industry should be aware of it. The authorities always look for their benefits, but they should also look for the healthy environment. So by maintaining government rules and regulations, the government of every country puts some rules and regulations for the industries. So the authority of the industry should maintain the government rules and regulations. Please follow the rules. 
so the what are the environmental diseases so what is implicated in 80% of all sickness and this is worldwide see the water how can the people drink this rivers we must know about this so there are uh, so, so many health issues because of that water e coli and hepatitis so next we are going to talk about the air pollution in the dyeing industry so major air pollution in textile the major air pollution problem in the textile industry occurs during the finishing stages uh, whereas various processes are employed for coating and fabrics so coating material include lubricants oil uh, plasticizers and paints and water uh, repellent chemicals essentially organic compounds such as oil wax or solvents so what are the different gases and effects in the air pollution the pollutants the releasing the carbon monoxide the effect reacts with blood and from the carboxy hemoglobin which will rest of the body transportation of other parts of the body so these are the health effects so this next we are going to discuss about the solid waste management this is the used class they put in the land it leaching the landfill how this how can the hazardous waste affect us when the hazardous wastes are released in the air water or on the land they can spread uh, containing even more of the environment and posing greater threats to our health for example when the rain falls on the soil it waste site it can carry hazardous waste deeper into the ground and underlying the ground water so if very small amount of hazardous substance in released it may become diluted to the point where it will not cause injury a hazardous substance can cause injury or death to a person plant or animal so impact of the solid waste on environment waste breaks down in landfills to from methane and potent greenhouse gas change in climate change and destruction of ozone layer due to the waste biodegradable and littering due to waste pollutant illegal dumping and leaching is a process by which solid waste enter soil and ground water containing them so the very very important topic next i am going to discuss about the fast fashion environment impact and fast fashion effect on the environment so we know, we know the fast fashion is the second largest polluter in the world just after oil and gas industry so fast fashion is a relatively ee paithi kar nae what happened participants are requested to off their audio okay sorry sorry for the interruption so fast fashion is the uh, relatively new phenomenon in the industry that causes so the fast fashion is the extensive damage to the planet and exploits workers and the harms animals so fast fashion is also referred to as a throw away fashion fashion used to be something that changed only uh, with the season each year so this is very common to know about this but the things uh, speeded up around two decades ago fast fashion is happened so the arrival of fast fashion into our lives made a cloth very cheaper so every year it lead to that toxic system of excess production and consumption so leading to fashion turning into the world greatest polluter i am not discouraging anyone just you want to know about the things what is uh, happening in your the hidden side so i am not discouraging the costume design student you must know about these things also for because i am environmentalist i have to protect the environment so i am telling about this so every 10% of yearly worldwide carbon emissions are linked to the fashion industry which more than uh, all international flight and maritime transport put together see imagine the textile emissions 
So about 60% of material made into clothing is a plastic and which include the polyester, acrylic and nylon textile and other uh, synthetic fibers. So make them largest known source of the marine microplastic pollution, which are thought to be uh, responsible for 30% of the microplastic pollution in the world oceans. Let's think about this. The dying process also of the force patient class also involve use of toxic chemicals, which uh, waste discharge from the textile industry has polluted 70% of fresh water sources in Asia. So even washing class releasing 500,000 tons of microfibers into the ocean every year. So equivalent to 50 billion the plastic bottle, just imagine. An estimated 92 million of tons of textile waste are produced annually in the world. 92 million tons of textile waste are produced annually in the world. You must know about this. So how much dumping over the waste class? So here are um, the way you can fight phosphation and take action to defend the planet. So always shop from the sustainable and ethical funds. So the costume student, you must also know, uh, know about this, how you can make in the future very sustainable cloth and how we can use the repeatedly. You can just think about this and uh, do that uh, area of the research. So don't throw your class into the normal bins. Most of them consist of synthetic. So non-biodegradable fiber and will just pile up in the landfill. So you after used the repaired garment can often be repaired or even completely re, redone with a little creativity. So this is your job, I think, custom students. So you can use the used class to different ways the creative little different creativity uh, or donate your class to your friends, family, and neighbors to charity. This is also a way to reduce the uh, solid waste. So spread the word and tell your friends about how they can help save the planet. So my conclusion today from the above discussion, it is noticed that textile effluent pollute, pollutes the environment very badly. So we should uh, pay great attention to eradicate the environment pollution from the effluent and save the environment. Thank you. So uh, uh, after completing your uh, bachelor's, uh, I think the IFA, in Paris, you have some master courses. So I think this year, March already closed the applications. So probably the next year open in the January. So you can also follow in Korea. Also, there are uh, so many universities they are offering with the scholarship for the MBA and the masters in the fashion and the costume technology. I have not enough time to put all the universities if you have any queries you want to do in the masters or MBA in abroad, you can contact me in the email or WhatsApp, or you can ask your uh, colleague uh, Dhanushri so she can uh, contact me. I will help you to assist your uh, master program in the foreign. So with a full scholarship, you need not pay any single rupees. So anybody is willing, I am ready to help you. Thank you for this opportunity, KSR Institution and the head of the Department of the Costume Designs and the uh, convener. And thank you for our students, participants. Thank you. Participants are requested to ask a few questions from the yeah, lecture. Welcome, yeah. Hello, sir. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Um, before moving to my question, uh, your PPT is nice, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, you said some of the chemicals discharges uh, from like sizing, bleaching processes. Can okay. we make those chemicals in recycling processes rather than affect our environment? Yeah, because we can uh, use that uh, membrane. Membrane 
we already installed the reverse osmosis system in every industries but many people they never use that uh, membrane system because it's cost effective the energy efficiency they they every time they're not using that uh, membrane if they use that membrane we can avoid this solution so only they are just uh, fitting for the showcasing you must know about this you are the namakal area and erod area your surrounding area how they can use when the pollution control board officers they came they just start that mission to uh, run out the water you must know about this right so the, we can it is possible because the ro plant have the strong membrane now the so many advanced membranes they are implemented so we can reduce the prop that's the thing we can use the proper guidance and uh, regulation in the government rules we can avoid this pollution okay sir thank you sir yeah welcome next question so what are the mitigation strategies we should uh, sustainable the sourcing and the water management and the energy efficiency waste uh, reduction and green chemistry consumer awareness so this all things we need to mitigate the strategies in this ppd impact on the environment any questions please ask me sir i have a question yeah sir uh, can you give some examples for avoiding uh pollution in water from industrial waste uh, yeah i think the same question you were repeated um i already told uh, every small scale industries small uh, pilot scale and lab scale so for example small and big industry also the government regulations is very clear they must have to treat the water to release to the river so they are not doing we have the option they already in government rules have to fit the uh, membrane ro ro membrane in the every unit and also the water softener these two um, things to implement in the every dying unit before releasing the water they have to treat themselves to release the water in the river okay sir Uh, I will show you where it is. Yeah, this this one, these two things, the membrane. Every unit they have to install, but then they are not used to this one because of the cost effect, cost energy. any questions any other questions welcome hello sir i have one doubt sir may yeah. know what is fast fashion what is fast fashion i just want to know in detail what is fast fashion yeah because the growing fast environment so we can simply say it is the fast fashion so the first we you know the recent uh, one decade so how the global is growing and uh, technological and ai technology so this called how they can um, use the dress before the 20 years before they can use the one dress at least 30 times 30 times so now the most of them only used less than 10 times they are throw it away so this called the first patient they go for the brand new uh, dresses in every year or every three months so they can easily the uh, waste that 
dress within a year to uh, uh, put it in the garbages, it containing the solid waste. So this is called the phosphation. So the, yeah. The growing the world, the fast growing. Sir, and one more question. You have said yeah. that uh, if the students are they are willing, they can do their masters in uh, your country. I may yeah. know what are the procedures? What should they have to do? To there are uh, yeah, there are uh, so many fellowships, and here in, for example, in South Korea, there are two semester system. One is spring system, another one is the autumn. The spring start the September, and the autumn is uh, the start from the March. So, for example, the final year student, they can start applying in the October, the application starting in the October. So, they also have the fellowship, uh, the Korean government also the giving the so many fellowships, for example, GKS. So, if they can learn the Korean in one year in Korea, then uh, they can give for the 2 million uh, Korean won every month, for example, Indian rupees 1.2 lakh. So I will uh, share the details uh, through the WhatsApp to Dhanusri so they can, she can give to the seniors and juniors. I will send her to the details very soon. Okay, sir. Sir, another question is, uh, mm. in what way we can collaborate with your university? If there is any possibility because our uh, PG students, they are doing their projects. Um, yeah, I have a possibility to collaborate. Um, yeah, we can collaborate. For example, if uh, they need some uh, character session for uh, some experimentals, some instrumentation uses, we can help to uh, take the analysis from here and if they need some writing help also we can uh, tell them to assist and also the publication if they want to public publishing the papers we will also help us to the guidance with this way we can collaborate if they want if to that, do so mm. yeah uh, in collaboration means, uh, is there is any possibility uh, to sign MOU? I think my university is, is not possible because last month the Tamil Nadu Open University Vice Chancellor also came because this is high standard universities. They can yeah, have a possible because uh, we have to talk the president first. Then I will let you know, ma'am. So what kind of what kind of things? what kind of minutes we have to put in the MOU. So everything we can discuss and then I will let you know. I'm not sure, but uh, I will uh, discuss with my uh, directors and I will let you know, ma'am. Okay, 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 thank you, thank you. Okay, any other questions? Faculty members, you can ask some questions.
If there is no question, then we can finish. Close the things. Yes, sir. My three can go to what of thanks. Quote of thanks. Saying thank you is more than a good manner. It's good spirituality. It gives me an immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks for the guest lecture to all the participants gathered here. I would like to thank our management and our principal for this wonderful opportunity. I would like to thank our chief guest, Dr. Jagadish Kumar Alagarasan, who made this guest lecture a remarkable one. Also, I thank our vice principal as well as HOD, Dr. V. Mahalakshmi, ma'am, for arranging this guest lecture. And once again, thank you all for your kind cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your patience and to listening to my lecture. Thank you, madam. Thank you for the head of the department, every participant. And thank you for the management. Thank you very much. We will um, touch in the future, I hope. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank I'll keep in touch. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. Thank you for the honesty to make this opportunity. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir.